All right, here we go. Uh, one quick note. Two weeks ago, I think it was January 19th or 20th, Kevin Hoffman, not, no, excuse me, January 10th, Kevin Hoffman, longtime coach at uh, Mart, longtime coach in high school football, had led Mart to four consecutive state championship game appearances, won three in a row, then lost in an extra point where Mart scored, kicked an extra point, then the team that they were playing scored, missed the extra point, Mart was off sides, win forced the opponent, went for two and beat them on the last play of the game. And then last year they lost in the semifinals. He was just kind of worn down by it. And there were some things that happened in the offseason in Mark that really wore him down as well. Some things that happened, a tragedy among some former players. So he decided he was going to go ahead and move on. I get a text from him earlier this morning and says, I am no longer retired. And so here's my conversation. This is a coach who has won three state titles as a head coach, been a part of them as an assistant coach. And his comments, and listen to the emotions of Kevin Hoffman, who's decided to return or remain now the AD football coach at Mart High School. Kevin Hoffman joins us, and still the AD football coach at Mart. You've changed your mind. Why? Yeah, it's just you know I've, I've gone back and forth. Uh, you know, even before I retired, and thought about retiring, and then thought about not retiring, and then eh, I've just. I've been torn and gone back and forth and uh, over the past couple of weeks. I've just uh, decided that, uh, you know, <clears throat> what's best for uh, for this program and, and this uh, this school and uh, this these this group of kids and this coaching staff and uh, for me and, you know, my family that uh, uh, for various reasons uh, that, you know, it's just I think it's best that uh, I continue to uh, stay in this role and, you uh, uh, do the best we can, uh, you know, for these kids. You're beloved in that city. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, it, it's hard in my position, in my role. Uh, I think that sometimes uh, people in the community or, you know, outside of this program uh, view me sometimes as, as uh, unapproachable. Uh, and I do keep up a guard uh, probably to a fault that uh, – uh, I don't let many people into my inner circle, and I, I, I do that because uh, I'm protective of me and my family and this this uh, this coaching staff and this team and this this school, and I want what's best for everyone. Uh, but uh, after announcing my retirement, uh, I, I had a you know an outpouring uh of people that reached out to me congratulations and, and these types of things and uh uh just showed that you know that uh, maybe I, I am more appreciate appreciated and you know really that's you know i just i, I want to feel appreciated just like everybody else does sure. and uh, uh it, it's it's been really good so uh, you know, and that played a played a role in it too. And I, I just think at this time, I got a few more years left in me. Let me ask you one more question, if you don't mind. Did you lose more sleep trying to make the decision to retire, or lose more sleep once you did retire? Uh, you know, I, I probably lost more sleep over the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I I always say, you know, I said and told you and everybody else that. Uh, you know, this is something that's been weighing on me uh, for the past, you know, year, if not a little bit more. And, uh, you know, how, how would I ever know if this was the right thing or not if I didn't pull the trigger and go ahead and, and, and retire and and uh, see what else was out there for me? Uh, but then after afterwards, you know, I, I, uh, um, I lay awake at night and wake up at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning and, and uh, wonder if, you know, did I make the right decision? And and I just thought that if these if this is weighing that heavy on me, uh, that's that's keeping me uh, awake at all hours, then uh, I probably didn't make the right decision. I need to go visit uh, with our soup and uh, our school board and uh, and see if we can uh, uh, rectify the situation. Kevin, do you feel like the way things ended two years ago with that gut wrenching loss and then the the semifinal loss, which kind of seemed like it was sudden, did that also lead you to feel like there was unfinished business? Yeah, that uh, you know that that amongst you know other things, uh, uh, just I guess just keep uh, you know keep weighing on me, keep keep uh, keep me 
uh, you know, awake at night, and uh, you know, it's it's the last, you know, the last two years uh, that we didn't finish it off like we wanted to. Uh, you know, it was was uh, heartbreaking uh, for for me and the coaching staff and the kids and and our program and community and you know everybody involved with this thing and uh, you know that 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 had a little role in it had a little part to play in it that uh, but you know it, it doesn't matter how successful uh, we are in this this uh, sport uh, that you know you you, you you ain't gonna win them all uh, you know you're you're eventually uh, you know you're gonna have good runs and you're gonna have some bad things happen and uh, but uh, you know, I, I want what's best for these kids and this coaching staff and this school. And and uh, uh, over the past couple of weeks, uh, the the process that I've seen go on, I just I feel like that. Uh, you know, right now this is this is what's best. Kevin, thank you. I know that everyone's thrilled based on just the reaction I had just the last couple of minutes when I mentioned you were coming back. I know you want to meet with the kids. I know they're thrilled. Thanks for your time. Congratulations on there's not enough of you in the business, and the ones we have, we need to keep them. Kevin Hoppin, head football coach again at Mart High School, Sikkim 365 Radio. Baylor University.